Hello, my friends. Welcome to our session today. We will create a requirements traceability matrix. So let's click on a new sheet and let's call it requirements traceability matrix RTM. Always remember to put in the title of the project just so you know where you are at any point in time. Now we've got a new sheet here. We're going to use an ID to name each one of these. We can also just go with the ID on the left hand side if need be. Another option is to have requirement as the primary column. Also, we have priority as a second column. As a third column, you want to categorize these requirements as you collect them, and you want to know the source. Where is the requirement from? If the requirements are linked already to some sort of WBS, then you have a WBS code, and you should enter that as well. If you don't have a WBS code, you could leave here blank for now, but I'm going to put in WBS code. As far as the verification, you can have someone do some verification there, or you could just say QC for quality control. Let's insert a column to the right. And here we have the validation. One more column to the right and let's put in a use case. And remember to always link where possible to a test script if there is one. And this is really what your requirements traceability matrix is all about. Let's put in some raw data from a different sheet. And I'm just going to copy these and put them in. Again, this is from a book I have out there called Project VBX 11. It's the same format. I'm going to put those in there like that. The category, it really depends on how you categorize your requirements. Let's put the source of the requirements and the WBS code. Who is responsible for the quality control? aspects. You have some names in there. Who is responsible for validation? And remember, because this is a test script or use case, we obviously have some numbering scheme. So maybe we have use case 001 and use case 002 all the way down. This helps you track each requirement to a use case. And we can also have a test script. And this was the tool I use to manage a project of eight stakeholders with over 100 plus requirements. And there you have it, my friends. That's your requirements traceability matrix. Remember, the purpose is to track requirements to their origin. And that is the end of our video for today. Very straightforward. You've got the source. Whenever you're going through the project, make sure you track each requirement to a use case or test script. And you want to make sure, finally, where we say validation, you want to make sure that there's a stamp of approval from whoever it needs to be from. That concludes the video. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon.